my name is Carrie Foster. Uh, I'm the MA Human Resource Management Programme Leader at Glyndore University. Um, I also work as a practitioner, so I work as an organisation development practitioner. Organisation development is people-led change and one of the exciting things is all the people that I work with on the programme are all practitioners as well. So not only do we teach you about HRM but we practice what we preach. So human resource management, HRM, is how an organisation manages the people within the organisation. Um, it can take a number of forms and traditionally human resource management has been seen as tea and tissues. So when people have got a problem or on the other side when you're the problem and you're going to get the sack or get into trouble. Um, but human resource management is much more than that. Um, many managers see people as a number on a, a spreadsheet for their uh, profit and loss and um, people are are greater than the sum of their parts. So whether that's through innovation, whether that's through um, being able to come up with new ideas for products and services, the delivery of those products and services, whether it's engineering skills, their knowledge, so we live in a, a knowledge economy, how you manage those resources to add real value to the bottom line. And that's what human resource management is about. It's how you get the most from your people in the organisation, release the talent potential within each of the people that work for you and work with the teams so that they become very effective and can deliver that value, that profit on the bottom line for the organisation. I don't actually come from an academic background. I'm a practitioner first and foremost. Um, and... It's only through working um, within organisation development and human resource management that I've discovered the value of theory. Um, and to give you an example of that, managers will very often say, well, these people aren't motivated enough. Uh, we're not, they're not happy with, our pay, with the, what we're paying them, so let's pay them more money. But the theory says, well, that's great, but actually what motivates people isn't money. If they're not getting paid enough, it's a demotivator. But what motivates people is being developed as a, a, a personally, getting extra skills and knowledge, being challenged within their role so they can develop um, and grow within their role. And it's called self actualization um, and being able to be the best that we can be. Uh, that's just one example of a theory in practice. Um, and what you can learn from an HRM programme is how that theory actually applies in the real world. So all these academics have spent lots of time researching loads of stuff. Uh, they don't just sit in ivory towers. They actually do things in businesses and find out what makes people tick. Take that information, that theory, and then put it into practice. The other thing that we can teach and you can learn on an HRM programme is about how you actually take some of the information that you need and make it ready for business. So building your business case for human resource management interventions. Because it's not just about uh, payroll, it's not just about um, fleet management or making sure staff records are up to date. It's about driving the strategy of the business forward, delivering those objectives for the business but through people. And how do you do that? And that could be through reward management, um, looking at what we need to do in terms of a total reward package, remuneration, so what we actually pay people, but also things like benefits, bonuses, etc. It could be through employee relations, so how you negotiate with employees to make sure that they're happy. It may be also with trade unions as well. Um, you'll also learn about uh, learning and development. So how do people learn? How do you make sure that the learning that you deliver is sticky and people actually want to learn the stuff that you're teaching them? Developing the knowledge and skills that the business needs, and this is the important thing, that the business needs to deliver its objectives. So it's great to learn about knitting, but if it's not going to help the organisation deliver its profit, then we need to make sure that what we're delivering in terms of skills and knowledge development is what the organisation needs. Other things that you'll learn is about looking at the external and internal 
external environments that affect human resources. So in the UK, we have what's called an hourglass economy. So at the bottom of that um, hourglass, we've got lots of low-skilled um, uh, uh, potential employees and workers who don't have the skills necessary that the organisation needs. And at the top, we have the, this demand for the STEM skills, so the science, technology, engineering and math skills, where there's um, a huge demand for those skills within business, but actually we don't have the people who need them. And it's all squeezed in the middle because to transfer from being low skilled to the skills that we actually need within the economy is an issue. So learning about those environmental forces, tight labour markets, loose labour markets, and those kind of things that affect workforce planning. As well as a qualification, which can be a postgraduate certificate, diploma, or the master's level, what else you can get is what's called the CIPD qualification. The CIPD Chartered Institute of Personnel and Development is the HR professional body in the UK. Um, to have a CIPD qualification is your passport into an HR career. Um, you can practice HR without the CIPD qualification, but many job descriptions will say CIPD qualified. So if you successfully complete your first year and get your postgraduate certificate in HRM, you will get the designation of associate member of the CIPD, um, and that's automatic. If you um, successfully complete your postgraduate diploma, you get your CIPD qualification uh, because the programme is uh, aligned to the CIPD's advanced diploma. And the result of that is you will have the qualification you need to apply for the chartered CIPD membership. And that is the kind of golden ticket and what you want to be recognised as, as an HR professional. So if you have any questions and would like to explore further a career in HR and learning about more about the programme, you can contact me at Glyndor and I will gladly answer any of your questions and tell you about the fabulous programme that we run here.